Hello friends, welcome to Hop Info channel. From this video, we are going to talking about the hydrogen sulfate, H2S gas. Where do we find it? The H2S and properties of the H2S gas. And then we are going to explain the hazard and safety precautions of the H2S gas at the working place. What is the hydrogen sulfate, H2S? H2S is composite of two hydrogen atoms and one sulfur atom. It's a colorless gas which is flammable, toxic and corrosive. It is heavier than air and tends to settle in low area. The gas is typically associated with the industrials, petroleum and biological operations such as drilling, refining and water treatment. At low concentrations, 5 to 10 parts per million or ppm, H2S is often associated with a stench resembling rotten eggs. The gas is also known by a variety of names within the industry. Stink dump. Also, they have another name is sur crude, rotten eggs, and sulfur hydride. Where is H2S found? Other than the industrial area, you can also find the H2S in natural setting. Natural gas and petroleum are known to contain a large amount of the gas. Additionally, H2S can be traced to natural gas deposits and mineral rock. The dangerous form due to the organic material decomposing without oxygen. For example, H2S may form from sewage in a septic tank, but can also be found in sewers, sisu poles, and stagnant water such as swamp industrial and location where the occupational exposure to h2s might be present includes gas plants oil and gas wall refineries pump mills sewers commercial laboratory petrochemical plants oil batteries so from those types of locations you can be find the h2s gas what is the properties of the H2S? It's important for you now the properties of H2S beyond simple being colorless and having rotten eggs stings. H2S always dangerous even at low concentrations while it tends to the settle in low area. The gas is heavier than air and as a result dispersed by wind movement or air current. The gas is more dangerous than the carbon monoxide and is also highly corrosive to certain metals since it's the colorless gas at all concentrations you cannot detect the H2S visually. You must also keep in mind that you can't really on your sense of smells to detect the H2S because at high H2S concentrations you will rapidly lose the ability to smell. You should also keep an eye on water and oil. H2S can dissolve in this liquid but be released if agitated or heated at extreme temperature such as 460 degree Fahrenheit H2S will O2 Ignite Effects of the H2S You will experience varying effects of H2S depending on the amount you're exposed as measured in a part per million. Level above 100 ppm are considered immediately dangerous to your health and life. The following detail is based of information about the H2S effect. 0.1 to 1.5 ppm You will notice the rotten egg sting. 2 to 5 ppm Long exposure may result in a nausea headaches and teary eyes 20 ppm experience fatigue loss of appetite dizziness poor memory and headache 100 ppm you start to lose sense of smells after 2 to 15 minutes 200 to 250 ppm further irritations vomiting and prolonged exposure 500 to 700 ppm collapse in 5 minutes serious eyes damage after 30 minutes 700 to 1000 ppm immediate collapse within 1 to breathe. This occur minute and later. 1000 to 2000 ppm. Near instant death. H2S detections. There are many methods to detect and alert you to H2S. While you should never rely solely on your noise, your sense of smells is usually the first and sometimes last. To notice the dangerous gas instead utilize the following means of the detection. The number one is detector tubes. It is a special tube about the size of a pen. They provide an appropriate measures of H2S concentration 
operations. The tube change color depending the issue's level. However, the accuracy will depend on the training of the operator. The number two is fixed or remote monitors. Fixed monitors are typically used in a large site for continuous monitoring. If HTS level increase above the certain limits, an alarm will be activated. Fixed alarms are commonly programmed to set off an alarm at 10 ppm. The number 3 is budgets. Resembling a credit card, these monitors can be carried and will change the color depending on the gas level. Some can also set off an alarm if exposure exceeds a certain level. The number 4 is coated strip. Lead acetate strips usually turn brown or black due to issues. The degree of the color indicates the gas concentrations, while helpful for determining if H2S is present. Coated strips should not be the only tools used as an indicator because they are not accurate. Work sites should utilize various tools to detect H2S. When used together, working sites are ensuring the safety. When H2S is is detected, you should leave the area right away. Even if you don't know how much gas in the air, only return when the amount of the gas has been measured and found it to be at a safe level. Protections against the HTS. Every work site should ensure the proper education programs are in place in addition to employees knowing about the evacuation drills and contingency plans. Safety equipment needed to be adequate enough to protect worker from the hazard of HTS and readily placed to ensure easy access. General equipment is required. The number one is IUR and protective clothes, but Specialized gear is also needed because skin absorption is minimal. Employers will want to focus on establishing and maintaining a respiratory protection program. The number two is breathing protection. Most self-contained breathing apparatus (SCBA) supply air for 30 minutes. Also, other cylinders are available for shorter or larger or long usage. The number two is the other types of breathing protection is a positive pressure, supplier R breathing apparatus, SIBA, the over-the-shoulders, hip-mounted cylinders, is also a full-face mask, it's lighter than the SCBA, but restricted the user due to the length of the hose. First aid and rescue. You must try to keep calm, think and above all, do not panic if a co-worker has been overcome by HTS due to an accident. Only attempt to rescue if you are trained and have the appropriate PP. Remembering you are training and safety procedures can help save your co-worker's life. Like the following steps. Number one is call for the help if possible. Number two is only attempt rescue or wearing a SCB or other air respirator. The number three is move co-worker to fresh air as quickly as possible. The number four is if co-worker is breathing, administers oxygen while keeping him or her in a resting position. Truly wash eyes if affected by h The number six is being artificial respiration. The number seven is promptly transport the victims to a hospital while containing to give the artificial respiration. The number eight is inform hospitals your co-worker has been exposed to H2S. Even with a quick revival, all H2S victims require medical attention due to the lingering effect. What is the HTS safe precautions? Every work site should have various safety measurement and precautions in a place to protect against the HTS exposures. The number one is observe foundation signs and audio and visuals alarm. Number two is check wind direction. Number three is enter site slowly. Number four is a minimum of two defended safety escape roads. Number four is gas ignition hazards must be clearly marked. Number Number five is continuous atmospheric monitoring. Number six is H2S awareness training programs and emergency procedure. Number seven is detections equipment. Number eight is a body systems for mutual safety. Number nine is care to avoid low lying area. Number ten is H2S warning. H2S warning signs should be posted throughout the work site. 
So here we come to the end of the video. Do not forget to subscribe and like my channel to get more knowledge.